So the last time we checked in with our next guest, they were heating things up in the production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Yep, now they're heating things up in the kitchen. They're sharing a recipe that deserves to be in the spotlight. Please welcome back actors Matt DeRogatis and Allison Fraser. Thank you guys so much for being with hey, us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, so yeah. you, you just finished a limited run of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Mm -hmm. How do you think it went? How did they really A week go? ago today we finished oh, it. So it's, yeah. it's, been, it's been one week. I thought it went fantastic. It was our second run. We did 76 performances, off-Broadway mm -hmm. premiere. Lots and lots of uh, audience members were very, very happy. Yeah, great reviews, uh, fun TV spots. How yeah. hard is it Allison to... Allison knocked it out of the park as Big Mama. The best trick ever. Aww. How hard is it to leave a production after, after doing this so long? Well, you know... It, Usually you kind of get the post-show blues, yeah. but I haven't really experienced that too much yet. Um, it was a very physical role that I played, very draining, uh, also being the lead producer on it. You know, we had five COVID cancellations. Yeah. And the oh, whole thing spanned geez. about three and you, years. And you had to stay in shape. Yeah, and I had to stay in shape, which is what we're going to get to in a, in a <laughs> yeah. set. But I'm kind of relieved that it's over and, and hopeful that it can continue at some point in the future. Yeah, like you were talking about. You had some shirtless scenes. <laughs> yeah, like and the whole 45 minutes. Yeah, I, was I mean, and you had to keep in shape. This probably didn't help. Did you make this during the production? No, or no, maybe no. this was the after So I had like a year of like eating lentils and juice cleanses. <laughs> and I, the show ended and I've been on like a bender now. I mean, it's like Epcot Center. I'm so in a new country <laughs> every night. My Indian food. This was post-show. This was the post-show meal. Yeah, it took about a year to get out. It's taken me less than a week to totally destroy them. So, <laughs> so you talked about you talked about what we're seeing here today when we last spoke with you. Yeah, she brought she brought and it this up. Is, I think. Right. This what is what you call this is Parmageddon. What what's the genesis of Parmageddon? Well, the genesis of Parmageddon. I'm a big professional wrestling fan, and, and so is Allison. I she's am. a dusty, oh, wow. she's a Dusty like Rhodes it. fan. Yeah. Okay. So it was a WrestleMania Sunday back in 2014, and me and my buddy were like, let's let's have a cheat meal. Let's make a colossal cheat meal for WrestleMania. And I was like, all right, I'll make chicken parm. And he was like, eh, it wasn't interesting enough. <laughs> I'm like, all right, how about I do chicken parm, top it with eggplant parm, top it with shrimp parm, and we'll call it Parmageddon. I love it. And so we did it, and that was back in 2014. Did you patent that name yet? It's trademark pending, yeah. Okay. So don't anybody <laughs> think about stealing that in New York. I got it. On, we got the dibs yeah. on right. Parmageddon. Okay. All right, so what are the steps here? So the steps, uh, it's about two hours start to finish. Oh, we wow. got to expedite it for uh, for the show. But, you know, you'll you'll take the chicken, you'll take the eggplant, you'll take the shrimp, you, uh, you bread it, you fry it, you brown it. Not totally cooked all the way through, but, you know, just enough to... But you have to pound the chicken, right? Yeah, or sometimes the, uh, it, it already comes pounded, but... Okay. Um, but you, you do, can choose you violence do one. if you want. Yeah. So then you start with the chicken, and you put the chicken, cover that with the... Do you sauce, make your own sauce? sauce or gravy? I do, yeah. See, hmm. we call it gravy. Oh, yeah, I'm gravy. sorry, it's gravy. A lot of no, it's a lot of controversy. There's, Sunday, there's a big divide. You, you know, gravy, some yeah. people call it gravy, some people call it sauce. Um, Good amount of cheese. We call there. it gravy, okay. yeah. Is Allison your sous chef? She is. She's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Allison ate this last night at our that cast party. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, you made it for the whole cast. Yeah, we had a big oh, cast party sweet. last night. It was Parmageddon. So basically, you're layering all of the all of the ingredients. Basically, there, you're, you're, sauce, you're basically cheese. doing like chicken parm. Yeah. Yes. Then you're making shrimp parm. Okay. And then you're making, uh, or rather, you're making an eggplant parm, and then you're doing shrimp parm. So it's just stacked parmesan all on top of each other. Oh, man. Um, oh, my gosh, that looks well, listen, I, Lots I mean, of I, cheese. Fat-free. you couldn't be eating this uh, It is fat the show. Free. You were you were. No, I would have been fat on a hot tin. You were it, it would not have been cat on a hot tin. One of the things that yeah. people may not understand is one of the reasons you had to be in such a good shape. You're on crutches, though. Uh, on a crutch oh, the whole time. Oh, it was a very time. physical, <laughs> challenging role, yeah. And, you know, like I said, you know, you want to, if you're going to be shirtless, you want to look good. But thankfully, that's over with, and I can eat Parmageddon. So... That's how you prepare it. Okay. Uh, we have some finished products here. This is where my sous chef comes in. Uh, Allison, okay. she's going to dollop a I'm, little... I'm going to put a dollop of... A little dollop of, of regat, uh, right? Uh, regat. Oh, I'm sorry. We, uh, the proper pronunciation. Uh, well, again, some say ricotta, some say regat. I you know. say regat. Regat. Yeah, some say gravy, some say sauce. Is that enough? All right, fresh yeah. this one. I think it's enough. <laughs> and Craig, you it can It should taste. go on the pasta. And what though. kind of cheese was it? Mutz. Mutz. Yeah. Right. 
A little much. There we go. And, and what, were, what were the reviews from all your cast members? Oh, they loved it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You, you, we're surprised that we had enough to bring today. Well, we, we made sure that we that we made extra, so. It's not, it was it 9 o'clock in the morning? Not, not oh, usually oh, when you would eat. Oh, sauce. Mm, not typically that. when you would have Parmageddon oh. at 9 a.m., but uh, well, on Good Friday. Well, this is the morning but, news. We do, you know, we and would. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for doing it without a, without a stove shop, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yours, so, you know, oh, go for it. I will, I will. Unless you're vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm not. But before we let you go, what's next for the both of you? A lot of R and R for me. Good. I need some rest and relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of eating. We have Parmageddon parties once a month That's now, right. so you're invited Aww. the next time. Yay. The whole crew is. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sure. You have Thank leftovers you for too. Us. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Great having you. All right, you. guys. All right. Thank you so Bye -bye. much.